the purpose uh, of Yeah, uh, time out the screen, start loving somebody uh, In a real life, not just in a metaverse lobby Each one, teach one, is a better verse, shawty these young as I into I used to think mumble rap, kill rap Until they created drill rap Trust me, time will reveal that Will we be remembered? Will we be forgotten? Did we make a difference? Did we speak out? Did we walk the walk from the words of a mouth? Where do we go from here? All these blurred lines Is it too late? Have we run out of time? Up to music, uh, you do. You've been acting. You've been on Netflix. Uh, I want to start this part of the uh, interview about talking about when you was on Teen Summer and what did that? Did you cash in on that? I mean, yeah. Okay. I was, How old I was were you? How old were you? I was like, that was like from like fourteen to seventeen. Wow. I was real young. I was young. I wasn't wow. the youngest ever on there, but I was a one of the young because my birthday yeah. was in October. So I was always one of them late, one of them late birthday kind of people. Mm. And so my man was um, uh, 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 so, so I, so, so a friend of mine at that time was like, hey, um, I'm on this show, Teen Summit, and I, did, I ain't even had cable at that time. Right. And so my mom, I mean, so the the girl was like, yeah, you should try to audition. And I was like, all right, I went, went up that joint and like crushed it. You know, they sat you around the table, a, a, a boardroom with other kids. Oh, that's how you had Oh, okay, right. Yeah, and then the Look. producers would sit at the end and just kind of throw, throw out topics. And then, and I just kind of like dominated. dominated yeah, he was on real. I, I, yeah. I saw some footage. Well, you were in, was, was in school or something? You was rapping or something? Or was yeah, that, yeah. In, in the hallway. The school yeah, yeah. walls. Yeah, yeah. That was all you were school. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Prestigious school. school. <laughs> nah, nah. I just, you know, for me, because my dad was an artist, I never felt the pressure or had that approach of like, you know, like somebody who may not, whose father might have been a doctor, but they were born into this world with the love for the arts. Right, right. right. Um, and you know, they, they tried to get them. Yeah, and they got to really go, you know, <laughs> yeah. they died, you know, and these people, you know, them motherfuckers, yeah. you know, or they come from like the gutter mm. and they really, really want to get their peoples out in because of the culture we right. live in. That is either selling dope or making you know, music yeah. or sports is a faster, you know, a, in their mind, a way to, to guarantee up. money right. type shit, right? right? Me, I was always felt like my parents never, like, my parents were never parents who, who resisted against my decisions. So when I wanted to play basketball, ball in, my dad was like, well, hey, shit, shit, all right, I'm going to come see a game, but if you if you bad, I'm going to let you know. Right. Like, like, or <laughs> show me. Pops, like, my dad was like, show me. My mom yeah. was like, okay, this baby, do it. Yeah, yeah, right. My mom, right? But my dad be like, all right, show me. <laughs> right? You're going to have to wait so, for my so, 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 boom, he saw me balling. Next thing I know, he coming to all my basketball games because he's like, oh, you can actually hoop. Yeah. So then... Speed up time when I done, told him I decided I wanted to be an actor and go to go to college. Yeah. Um, Did you take theater classes? Oh yeah, I went to the Carnegie Mellon, man. Oh theater. okay, that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna let him get away. With you. you you hear that? Yeah, yeah. I and so that's acting there. So I learned like uh, I learned technique, but I also learned you know what it means to be an artist. And right, it's like right. I get it. You know, I get it. It's a different to thing. To be an right. artist, it means like to be. Mm. It means to be completely well-rounded yeah. just look around I, you know i'm just saying but just well no i get it i get it i get it where a lot of artists get restricted to their colloquial uh environment or the, the, the just restricted to the terminology of where they from doing what their environment yeah doing. and yeah, the colloquialisms you. and yeah. you know the local slangs or things that they don't they don't really master how to kind of like they forget that like the, um, world, the world, the world is big. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. And so if you cast your net out further, you you know you should you know you'll be able to get 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 more. But sometimes if you kind of stick to, if you're limited to your scope, yeah, you, you gotta think outside. You gotta yeah, think outside your environment. Right. No, that's yeah. always been the code. And so yeah. for me, that's always been a technical thing for me. Mm. You know, because music is composition and it's all like math and whatnot. And I wasn't. I was. I. I was. I've always been a fast counter. Like I can count fast. I know how to like. Math is easy for me. Okay. Right. But I wasn't a. I was an artist. I wasn't a nerd. I... It's gonna take more than your.
your body. Plus, I'm on a guest list performing at a conference called Nexus. Yes, it's Katrina and West, the Lord blessed us. 911, the natives are born restless. Bugged out, gritty, the city is so infested, congested, and filled with a whole lot of yes. -men.